in part two of Peter Claude's conversation with Zambian opposition leader Hakai Hichilema. Hichilema talks about closing loopholes to stamp out corruption as a way to generate revenue and reduce the nation's high unemployment rates. This is part of the challenge that the country uh, is faced with. This is part of the reasons we have a declining growth and therefore shrinking opportunities for our people. As I said, education for the young is not available because uh, there is no money. Um, and those who complete school uh, run or roam the streets of our countries, our towns, without finding a job because there's just no money being spent in job creation for the youth and for the women mainly. So w one fact I said was debt, but I said to you that debt was motivated by corruption, appetite for corruption. So corruption itself is a problem. So it is not right, it's not correct to say that the current government is fighting corruption. Absolutely not. If they were fighting corruption, we wouldn't have the levels of corruption that we're seeing in our country. I'm sure you've heard the, the stories about or around the purchase of ambulances very expensive ambulances. You've heard the story about uh, fire tenders, fire trucks, you may call them in, in this country, which should have cost the taxpayer $300,000 per piece. It cost the taxpayer $1 million per piece. 42 fire tenders, $42 million. We should have saved around $32, $33 million. Uh, but that went away to corruption. So there is no fight against corruption. And we intend to clamp down on corruption by having a zero tolerance policy on corruption, zero on corruption. So which means we'll support the oversight institutions, anti-corruption commission, we will support the financial intelligence center, and by supporting them we'll give them operational autonomy, but more than that we'll give them funding, support, financial support to execute their mandate. And when they come up with the reports, those reports will be actioned, passed on to the police, passed on to the prosecution arm, so that those that are you know, gullible, those are power, who are palpable, will be prosecuted. It's not happening now. We will do it under the UPND government. Some people are saying there's palpable tension in mm -hmm. Zambia. Sure. They blame the UPND for creating that because they said attempts by the government to have a negotiation or a dialogue to mm -hmm. resolve the tension mm -hmm. um, has been rebuffed repeatedly by the UPND. You are the leader of the UPND. Sure. How do you react to that? That is far from the truth. We have, from the outset, we have been available for dialogue. We have been available for creating normal conditions in our country. Because as we operate now in the country, the situation is abnormal. We have a breakdown in the rule of law. We, as UPND, would like to restore the rule of law. We have basically no respect for human rights, liberties and freedoms. We want to restore respect for human rights, liberties, and freedoms. And uh, as I said, we want to restore economic performance so we can create opportunities for people and reduce poverty, which is basically extremely high, unacceptably high. 58% of our people today live below $2 a day. That's unacceptable. 58% is a big number. So we want to deal with those issues. But all of these matters can be dealt with, some of them, Definitely by having a meaningful dialogue, not symbolism of dialogue, but meaningful dialogue. We've been available, we'll always be available. You know, we've been treated quite very badly by the regime in office, but still we believe that we are in politics to serve the people and to serve the people. Part of what we've learned to do is to be tolerant and to be able to keep our eyes on the ball. And dialogue is essential. But our colleagues have not been available. But Remember, some people are they're saying, in leadership. Huh? Some people are saying that recently the church mother bodies organized or tried to mediate mm. some talks mm. and that UPND boycotted it. So not how do you too. say you are available when the accusation is that the UPND, the major opposition sure. party in the country, mm. is not available contrary to what you are saying? How do you react to that? That's far from the truth. We are available. We've been available. Let's be factual here. We've actually had a meeting between Mr. Lungo and myself, which was organized by the church mother bodies. So that's a clear confirmation of our availability for dialogue. That was Zambian opposition leader Hakainde Hichilema speaking with VOS Peter Claudine.